The next couple of training videos are going to be about SharePoint, how we can go ahead and upload our database to the site or even an object within our database like a table here. And for those of you who don't know what SharePoint is, well, to oversimplify, it's a website, a site that allows authorized users, those who have a username and password, to be able to upload, share, and manage documents or applications like Access on the SharePoint server there, or, again, the SharePoint site. Now, if your company doesn't have one and you want to be able to uh, set one up for your company, but you don't want to purchase the server, maybe you want to be able to outsource it, you can do an internet search for SharePoint hosting services or providers, and I think for as little as uh, $10 or $15 a month, depending upon the options or how many employees you want to be able to uh, have access to the SharePoint server, for one, I think it's about 10 bucks. You can go ahead and have them provide it for you and do the hosting, and that way you don't have to purchase the server and set it up. You could just pay them a monthly fee and then just jump right on into it. So to get started, to be able to upload this table, the products table, to that SharePoint site, because maybe I want to do some collaboration with uh, some contractors who don't have access, and of course we won't give them access to our company network, about the products that we're looking at producing or products that are obsolete. So to go ahead and upload it, let's go ahead and close out, select the uh, table, come up here, click on the external data tab, go to the export group, click on the more drop down arrow, and click on SharePoint list. Now by default, I already have it set up here because I've been using it. If this is your first time, I think it'll have an empty box up at the top, or if not down at the bottom, that you can go ahead and type in the uh, SharePoint URL or website address. If you don't have it, get it from your IT person, or if you've outsourced this to a, a hosting service, then go ahead and get it from them. Type it in, and then down below, specify a name for the new list here. By default, it's going to be the name of the uh, table here that we're uploading the products table. You can go ahead and change that and then a description if you'd like. And then below that it has by default checked open the list when finished. So after I open up the table it'll actually open up and list all the records within the table. And then as a side note you ought to know that when it comes to exporting a table if this table has a direct relationship to any other table it will upload that as well. So you want to keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and click OK. And you can see it's uploading the category table in addition to the products table because it's directly related. And then once it uploads to view the page, it wants me to log in again. Wow, great security here. And then I'm going to go ahead and check to remember my credentials. Click OK. And there we go. There's the products here. Fantastic. Now some of the uh, things that you can do after you upload it and you're sharing this and somebody else logs in, they'll see the same thing here. They can go ahead and... Uh, come up here and click on the items tab to add a new item or a new record here. They can also go ahead and check a record to delete. Well, we call it a record in Access, but here on the SharePoint it's an item. And then some of the other limited functionalities when it comes to working with this uh, on the SharePoint server as opposed to within the database. Database is more powerful, the Access database. You can hover over the uh, column header and click on the drop down arrow to be able to sort it and then also do some minor filtering here if I just want to see all those products with air mattress here and it's just one you get the idea then to clear it just click on the drop down arrow and say that you want to clear it and then if I want to go ahead and delete it this is a bit tricky because remember not only did it upload the products table but it also said it'll upload any related tables to the products so if I come over here to delete this table and click on the list which is where you want to go to delete the table then come over here to the settings group, click on list settings. It's not simple, is it? You have to come over here and then click on delete this list. When I click on it, it says, ah, we can't do it because it's related to the category table. Well, the way around that is to go ahead and delete the lookup column. In other words, there's a column in here in the product table, and it's called the lookup column that looks up the corresponding category tied to each product. So if we delete the lookup column by clicking on the uh, category ID there, scroll down to the bottom, and you can read about the relationship between this table and the other, and how right now it's enforced. Let's go ahead and delete it. And it says, okay, you sure you want to do this? Well, yeah, because then after I do that, I can go ahead and delete this table here, because it's no longer related or hooked up to the uh, category. Let me scroll down. There's the category table that came with the product table. Then I can go ahead and click on that. Also, come over here to the uh, list tab. Go to the settings group, click on the settings, and then delete that one as well. Which, by the way, the overview when it comes to looking at SharePoint, unless your IT person's gone in here and made some major layout changes, is that you got the navigation pane over to the left-hand side for your list, shared documents, 
um, libraries. I mean, in addition to shared documents, you can create another library like I have for essential oils and then for a discussion board here. And then if you delete anything, go ahead and click on the recycle bin to go ahead and restore it. If you don't want it deleted here, sit in the garbage can. Some of the basics here that you can see over in the navigation pane. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.